There is no place in America for this kind of violence, for any violence ever, period. No exceptions. I want to speak to you tonight about the need for us to lower the temperature in our politics. And to remember, while we may disagree, we are not enemies. We're neighbors. We're friends, co-workers, citizens. And most importantly, we are fellow Americans. We must stand together. Yesterday's shooting at Donald Trump's rally in Pennsylvania calls on all of us to take a step back. Take stock of where we are, how we go forward from here. Thankfully, former Trump is not seriously injured. I spoke with him last night. I'm grateful he's doing well. And Jill and I keep him and his family in our prayers. We also extend our deepest condolences to the family of the victims who was killed. Corey was a husband, a father, a volunteer firefighter, a hero, sheltering his family from those bullets. We should all hold his family and all those injured in our prayers. A former president was shot, an American citizen killed, while simply exercising his freedom to support the candidate of his choosing. We cannot, we must not go down this road in America. We've traveled before throughout our history. Violence has never been the answer, whether it's with members of Congress of both parties being targeted and shot, or a violent mob attacking the Capitol on January 6th, or a brutal attack on the spouse of former Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, or information and intimidation on election officials, or the kidnapping plot against the sitting governor, or an attempted assassination on Donald Trump, there is no place in America for this kind of violence, or for any violence ever, period. No exceptions. We can't allow this violence to be normalized. You know, the political record in this country has gotten very heated. It's time to cool it down. We all have a responsibility to do that. Disagreement is inevitable in American democracy. It's part of human nature. But politics must never be a literal battlefield, and God forbid, a killing field. I believe politics ought to be an arena for peaceful debate, to pursue justice. I'll continue to speak out strongly for our democracy, stand up for our Constitution and the rule of law, to call for action at the ballot box, no violence on our streets. That's how democracy should work. We debate and disagree. We compare and contrast the character of the candidates, the records, the issues, the agenda, the vision for America. But in America, we resolve our difference at the battle box. You know, that's how we do it, at the battle box, not with bullets.